Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we'll be playing Deadly Defenders. I'm not sure if you've heard of it before, but basically it's this game where you have to stop people trying to get into your tent. Uh, and you have to scare them away using defenders like cobras, spiders, elephants, things like that. Now, time for the intro and then let, we'll jump right into it. Okay, so we can click on the play button, then get, jump straight into day one. Fortunately for us, day one is a tutorial, so it stops and tells us what to do. So place down a cobra and it's doing its job for now. We've now upgraded it, so now it can take out those rats really easily. Time for the final upgrade to take out those gibbons nice and easily. One's got past, so we need to place another one. And that's the day finished, the level finished. So, time for level two. What a long day! In this level, I've tried it before. You only need five cobras. If you can place them in like really early, it, it makes it a lot easier for the for the rest of the day. Because then all you need to do is upgrade them. This position is probably the best position because it can like take them out with the biggest range each. So far we've upgraded the first three Cobras, now we're going to work on upgrading them again to the max level, which is level 3. One of them is upgraded to level 3 now, now we can upgrade the second one. Now the third one. Then now we can work on upgrading the back two, who will only be used for taking the last two gibbons out. Okay, so they're all maxed out, so we can just sit back and relax right now. Last given, and the level's finished now. Good morning. Time for level what three. We're gonna what place a cobra there, and on the other side, we'll place another one. Time to place an uh, eagle in the spare space. Oh, I accidentally placed a cobra. Okay, that might cost us. Because that means we'll be 15 or 25 behind. But we need to place a third eagle. Which is not going to be good. Yeah, we missed the second one. So now we have to place one behind. That's kind of a clutch move. Okay, 
Yeah, okay, we need to put... Yeah, okay, we need to place another one behind. Uh, that first move costs us. Okay, now we're aiming for a line of eagles. Down the, right, the front line. There are many ways to do this level, but I prefer this way. Where you make sort of an E on the left hand side. As you'll see once it's ready. Okay, we're upgrading the the corner eagle so they can get in on the action while the rest are battling out all the intruders. Now we're maxing out the back two on the corners because otherwise they can't reach and they have almost nothing to do. Here I've chosen not to upgrade the front three because they don't need upgrading. I need to try and max, like, complete the level with no deaths and um, try to have as much money left as possible. That's my aim for this video. They're getting scary, scarily close to the edge of the defences. Yeah. Just hit 5,000 coins and find a way. I think we're going to complete it successfully with no deaths. Yeah. That's the sound of success. Okay, this level's reasonably easy because I think you need like two defenders to complete the whole thing. Yeah. It's not as hard as it looks. We're letting that cobra take out those leeches and we're gonna place an elephant that right there um, i assume we'll probably be able to stay there for about more than half of the level i would say two thirds The, le the next level, in my opinion, is the hardest level, apart from the last level, because it's the one with the, the there's a water area and it makes it a lot harder because there's just one, there are like three or four different paths to the the tent, whereas here there there's only one because they have to loop round, making it easier for the elephant to pick them off. Those 
gibbons are getting wiped out by that max level elephant. When you upgrade a defense, not only does it increase the speed and attack damage, it also increases the distance where it can reach uh, the, the attackers. I was right with the two first guess of the elephant being able to survive on its own. It's actually going to three quarters now, which is impressive. Now that the gibbons are getting two shot rather than one shot, I think I'm going to have to place another defender in. The elephant survived 11 twelfths of the level just on its own. That's insane. Final wave, and it's gonna be all gibbons, a mass gibbon army. I'm thinking of doing another defender to max level, just in case they get past, which I doubt they will. Those buffaloes look quite scary in terms of their health. They take about like 10 shots with the elephant. But we managed to kill them off. Ah, oh, uh, finally. Day four. Time for the hard one. Time for bed. I'm not I'm not looking forward to this. What I'll do is if I die or lose one life, I have ten lives, as you can see in the top right. If I lose one life I'm gonna have to I'm gonna restart the level. Because otherwise I, I won't get a three star. Those bees will help destroy everything because it almost does splash damage. I'm preparing for wave 3 by putting those two cobras there. Oh no. 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 That's annoying. Restarting the level. My deadly defenders will help me get some sleep from those pesky intruders. <sighs> right now I'm gonna save up for an elephant and or some bees, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going for the elephant option. Ah, 
hopefully none of them will escape past my elephant. Okay, just as I say that, restart. What a long day! I need a good sleep. Judging by how long each level is going to take or is already taking, I think this might be like a 40 minute video. If you guys want to see another one where it's all compressed down into like 10 minutes, I can do that next time. But it won't feature every single moment of this game. So far it's going well. I haven't lost a life. Okay, I'm going to place a bird because the cobra will do nothing to those rats. Okay, I've now placed the bees in. Team effort from the bird and cobra. Oh yeah, I, I need to put the cobras in to protect me from the mosquitoes, which are going to come up. Yep. There. If you're new to this level, that always takes you by surprise. I know from experience. I had to upgrade that cobra there, because otherwise those bees or mosquitoes would have got past. I just thought right now, how long is this good video going to take to upload? I guess it would take maybe an hour and a half, which is a long time for one video. There's a fun video to make. just gonna upgrade some of my bees so they can produce one more one swarm of bees extra at a time. Final wave, I'm just going to max out my bees, I don't need to worry about the final defences because I've got such a good upfront defence that I don't need to upgrade it anymore. Yes, I think that was third try. I'm not sure. I see the second or third try. I'm very happy. After this like line of leeches my recording cuts out so bear with me because yeah I actually somehow start slightly earlier on in the level. 
see. Okay, yeah, I see that swarm of leeches again. Okay. That makes so much sense. And my cobra changes position. I have no idea what happened. Now I've got an elephant, so that should do some damage to all the attackers. Okay, I place. Okay, I place a spider, in, which basically slows the enemies down. I'm about to put some bees in, just so it can help keep the intruders out. What the bees do is they just wreck all the mosquitoes really easily. Wave 5, the gibbons are coming. But they don't get past this defense. This is the best defense, I think. Okay, I just maxed out my elephant. Gonna work on the extra mosquito defense now. Most of it will be cobras, which I'll max to give them the maximum amount of possible damage. So far, they're doing quite well, and they're also um, like attacking the others as they come past. What I'm trying to do here is replicate the defense that I have in front of the tent um, slightly up ahead so that the defense of the tent is a last resort. Once it's all maxed out it'll be very, very overpowered. See the, the cobras are doing a good job against the mosquitoes. And that max elephant there is doing some damage. It's either this wave or the next wave where the buffaloes come again. I think it must be next wave because I'm about to complete this wave. I know it's this wave. Adding an extra spider in return for the bees, just so that 
There's more. I, I can put an extra elephant in there. My only tip for this game is use, if you can, if it's possible, use a separate mouse, not the touchpad that comes if you're on a laptop, because it makes it a lot easier to upgrade things quickly and sell things quickly. Yeah, I'm adding extra birds just to. I don't, I don't even need them, actually. I'm just doing it to make it super defensive. I don't know why I upgrade these last elephants. Oh, that's why. It's another. I don't know what you call them. Group of. Good morning. I completed the level. Let's go. So for me, this is one of the easier levels because there are three points with whether whether defenses can actually do maximum damage. The, the elephant here is a really good decision because it can help the rest of it to to slow it down. I'm gonna, I think, I'm gonna put four spiders in, in almost like a kite shape, because it helps the elephant to slow it down, or it slows the attackers down while the elephant attacks them. Because the max spider doesn't go all the way around the elephant. I'm just doing the kite shape now and once all, all these are maxed out it's going to be better. Also a tip with cobras, if you want to sell them, upgrade them to level 2 first because it's, oh, if you upgrade to level 2, it's 100 plus 200 to upgrade, 100 to buy in the first place, which means that it's 300 coins altogether, and if you upgrade it to level 2 before selling it, you actually get plus 300 coins. So it's this is pretty much it's almost like trading it equally. But if you sell it while it's at level 1, um, it you make a loss of 25 of those. The current basically. I don't know why you call it like skulls. Yeah, I'm just putting some cobras in to take out the mosquitoes because they're, they're the only challenge for the elephants. All I do here is I just put some bees in because they can go everywhere. 
Yeah, I kind of go a bit overkill on these. I slow down to allow me to upgrade everything because otherwise it goes really quick and I get because all those mosquitoes give me 75 which yeah it's a bit fast I think if you slow it down in speed it doesn't it also slows down your defender speed so it doesn't like double the speed of your defenders compared to the attackers which would be kind of overpowered. Spinal wave. Okay. So far, I think I've completed every level without any lives lost. Okay. Finally for day 8, I've never 3 starred slash completed it with no life lost. This is the hardest level, by far. It looks really easy at the start though. I don't know why it gets so hard. This is probably one of my favourite levels actually because it's at the end it's really fun when all of like about I don't know basically a massive group just go to in one go oh no lost a life okay I'm not gonna do the thing where I if I lose a life I have to restart because it's kind of impossible if I 3 star level 8, uh, I'll do a video on it, show you how to 3 star it. But that's only if I manage to do that. Which I doubt I will. The bird is there, so because it's the fastest to respond to any mosquitoes. Whereas like, bees and cobras are slightly slower. And it's also there to pick off anything if it's missed the elephant. I think the mosquitoes come in at level or wave 5 because otherwise it'll be like you need to prepare a better defense Now I'm going to try to upgrade the elephant so it can reach where the spider can't, or even can, where the elephant can't. I've put another spider there to help slow it down, slow everything else down. See, the bird is the first to respond. I'm really happy that I have that bird. Hey, it's wave six when the mosquitoes come. This is the. I really find it cool when all everything comes in at once.
That was nowhere near as cool as it gets at the end. I think the birds are the best thing against the buffaloes because they li are literally rapid fire elephants if you have more than one they have defense at the bottom there I don't think anything will be able to get past them Overkill, I think, on these here. Wait, I might try to fill all of it in, in the, every single spot I can. I hope I will, that'll be cool. Yeah, now I can, now all I can hear is bees. Yes! I filled everything in. I don't think I'll be able to max them. No! What? No, I've lost two more lives. Oh, that looks cool. All the paths are taken up by bees and the gibbons. That's crazy. And now they're buffaloes. Cool. That just looks amazing. I really like it. Yes, I've completed it. But only with six. And we found the elusive Jarvan Rhino, as he says. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Bye.